Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look on more of like a springy look. I got it from um, Patrick Star. I loved when he did it. So I said, let me try and recreate it. It's like a blue and a purple and the insides is yellow, but for some reason it looks green. I guess because of the blue. But um, since spring is finally here, I decided to do something with color and I really had fun with this. It's so cool to play with colors and um, I recreated this look with my Morphe palette, the Picasso palette. It's really fun. It has such beautiful colors and this is what I came up with, with, you know, the inspiration of Patrick Star. So if you like what you see, keep watching. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's start with our primer. This is the Milani primer. So this primer is the strobing and pore minimizing one. I need it for my pores most of all, but I felt like it gave me like this glow. Now picking up my color corrector, um, I'm going to just apply those on my pimples. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend out this foundation. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight everywhere I need to highlight with the LA Girl concealer this is in the shade creamy beige now we're just going to go ahead and blend everything out with the real techniques sponge Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the baking powder, my air spun baking powder. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bake everywhere I put the concealer at. I usually just take a brush, a big fluffy brush at the end, and just keep on going all over my face and just spread out that whole bake. Then I'm going to use this Morphe palette to start off with my eyeshadow. And I'm going to go in with the white to just give my eye a flat white you know space just so I can start off my eyeshadow all right so the first color we're going to put on is the purple and we're going to put that right on our crease and a little above our crease and you really got to pack these colors in I'm not saying it's not you know pigmented because they are really pigmented it's just if you want a bright color you got to go in a couple times even if you have to go five six times just do it I mean you want something pretty you got to really work hard and blend it really good Now we're going to go in with the blue. It's like a tur turquoise. <laughs> More like a turquoise color. Um, It's really nice, but you have to also pack in this color a couple times. And just place that one on the lid and blend it out really well. Now we're going to pick up the black shade and just put a little bit on the crease to give it a little smoky look. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the yellow shade and place that in our inner corner. Um, I tried to make it yellow, but it just kept coming out green, I guess because of the blue. But then after that, we're going to pick up the Morphe Creamy Eyeshadow with a very thin brush and place that right on our lid just a little bit. I didn't want a wing liner, you know, just to make it a little dark on the lid. Now let's just apply some mascara to the upper lashes. This is the Falsies from Maybelline. And then I'm going to add some Falsies. These are the Demi Wispies by Ardell. The same mascara to the bottom lashes as well. Now we're just going to go ahead and remove all the bake. Like as you see, as I was saying earlier, that I usually just take the same baking and I put it all over the face. Now we're going to just take all the same shades and place them on the waterline, well below the waterline. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put some eyeliner on my waterline. This is a black, the Travel Black by Lord & Berry. Now I'm going to pick up the e.l.f. palette, the contour palette with these amazing brushes my sister got me. I was so excited. Um, these are the unicorn, well not the unicorn, but you can say they're like a dupe for the unicorn. And I'm going to take the lighter, um brown bronzy um shade and place that all over my forehead and the cheekbones to go ahead and bronze up my look and then also with another brush i'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush from the maybelline um master palette master blush palette it has really nice colors um for blushes and it has a highlighter on it as well i'm putting that on and this, I feel like this palette is just so cute. It's like a four in one or a two in one, but it just has three different blushes. <laughs> but I really love this palette. Um, those brushes are so amazing and so good. Now I'm just going to place some highlighter on my brow bone and I'm going to pick up my Wet n Wild lipstick. This one is in the shade Java and I'll place that right on my lips. Now I'm going to just finish up my look with my NYX setting spray. Just spray my face down and I really hope you guys love this look. Please give me a thumbs up, comment down below and if there's any requests, leave requests. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.